All right, today we're going over some great shoulder exercises. And if your goal is to get those big round boulder shoulders, then you're going to want to add these in. And if you don't, don't complain to me a month from now when you still look like a 12 year old in that tank top. I tried to help. Those of you guys who really know me know that I drove a bus for 30 years of my life. So an exercise like the bus drivers is near and dear to my heart. But even though it's one of my favorites, I'm still constantly trying to improve it because with that one specifically, when people get tired, they start to drop those arms and try to use those biceps to rotate the weight. And the way we fix that is by locking ourselves into place on an incline. Puts those delts at a mechanical disadvantage, but also makes it harder for any other supporting muscle groups to jump in unless you really screw it up. And if we increase the incline of that bench a little bit, we can use that same thought process for front raises because we've all seen those people that use way too heavy of dumbbells and they're just throwing it up. Those people are my favorite. I just sit behind them Indian style, just waiting for them to lose grip. Hopefully they jack the mirror, some unexpecting person. And you got options. If you want to hit dumbbells unilaterally, you can do that. Or you can do what I'm doing, which is a straight bar. That way I can decide if I want to hit that anterior delt more by grabbing nice and close, or if I want to try to push it more into that lateral head by moving those hands wider and wider. And then from there, it's just figuring out what range of motion destroys that delt the most. So if you're one of those people that has a hard time connecting with that side delt, no matter what you do, what angle you take, the moment you start coming up, that trap locks up and says, nope, fuck you. This one's for you. The issue is, if you haven't figured it out yet, is that your relaxed position where the arm's directly by your side isn't actually relaxed. That shoulder's so rolled forward that that trap is in a permaflex. No matter what you do, it's gonna engage. Now, obviously you're gonna need somebody to go in there and break that up, and it's on you to actually work and bring those shoulders back. But in the meantime, you can still hit those delts by working around that trap. And the way we do that is since we know your relaxed position pisses it off, we're gonna lean slightly forward. That's gonna cause that trap to disengage. And you're gonna do what essentially looks like a wide grip upright row that you're pulling into your rear delt. But as you get halfway up, you sit nice and tall and finish the contraction off into that lateral head. So I used to be a big fan of overhead presses when I was younger, but it only takes one experience when you're driving up, the weight continues to go up, but your shoulder drops, you hear this awful crack. You're praying it's just a shark echoing off whatever synthetic material they wrap the pads of the machine in, but deep down in your heart, you know, it's not the case. And I'll still do them, but in a very different way. I'll put tens on the straight bar and do them as slow and controlled as possible. And this is one of those rare occasions where I'll lock it all the way out. I'm trying to increase flexibility, so opening up that chest, those shoulders, but also when that arm's locked out, that delt is fully flexed and it is painful and disheartening to know that you got some lightweight on there and you're shaking like an asshole. Let's finish off by going over one for rear delts because just like side delts, those traps can jump in and ruin your life. And hopefully by this point, you got back your access to cables, but even if not, just grab a band and it'll still tear them up. And what I want you to do is lock your elbow completely out so you don't have to think about it. That's not a factor. And then I want you to try a couple different angles because there's gonna be one where it's just that rear delt. There's no trap, there's no anything else, but it's probably not gonna be what you expected. And for those of you who went through the 30-day program, I'm proud of you while simultaneously questioning your judgment. But if you haven't got a chance to check it out, there's a link below. Also, if you haven't got to watch these two videos, I'd watch those next. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.